on blast. This is the Ball on Blast podcast. Wrap it up. Toronto Raptors post game edition. My name is Sheldon Alexander. If you joined us for episode one of the Raps post game show, then you know that I'm just rolling through with a couple of my boys each and every show. So on one side, I got my guy Mike Bellamo here. Bellamo, what's up, man? What's going on, Sheldon? You good? I'm good. And on the other side, you got Q. Q, what's up? You all right? I'm ready for all this stuff. That's nice. You're hype? You're hype? Let's do this. Serge Ibaka hype. (laughs) (laughs) We're hype right now. Raptors win game two. Game two, we all know that the start of the season was a big deal. When the schedule came out, this was the game that people kind of had circled early on, no? Yeah. They had this Celtics game circled over the Cavs because it's the Cavs. No LeBron's there anymore, right? Right. So this was a game I feel like everyone had scheduled on their calendars early on because it was the two projected top teams of the Eastern Conference, and the Raptors were ready. Raptors came out gunning with a big, huge, massive 113-101 victory. And you know what? First off, fellas, just what, what's going on? How are you feeling after this game? Because I was hype all day waiting for this game to come, and the game did not disappoint. It was a hype game, no? I, I texted you, and what did I say? I said it felt like a playoff game. It did. It did. Yeah. Game yeah. two, and it felt like a playoff game. I was excited all day at work. I wanted to come over and watch it with my boy. It didn't disappoint. <laughs> Literally, we were jumping on the couch going crazy <laughs> for game two. When's the last time we've watched the second game of a season and been this nervous and invested? Right? Yeah, that's true. Down the stretch, Kyle Lowry. I mean, Kyle Lowry had another solid game for sure, yeah. but I feel like it was the Kyle Lowry things that Kyle Lowry once again did down the stretch, taking big charges, yeah. just making all the hustle plays. But down the stretch, it was it was a close game, but the Raptors then blew it, busted it wide open yeah, at the end, last no? last five minutes, yeah. They just, they just took over. Yeah, Kyle made Kyle. He had like three charge, took three charges yeah, in the last couple. You know, months, his name was mentioned. Like I look at the box score, and I see he had 15 points, but it, it seemed like he was. He was the bulldog. Yeah, more, more of an impact on the game than what you think 15 points is. But, yeah, he had a, two good games to start the season. Well, I mean, he's, he's shooting an efficient percentage again yeah. this game, 5, five of 8, eight yeah. right? Again, he gave you 15 points. But, again, it's the stuff that doesn't really show up, right? You, right. you mentioned right. the charges. Three but of five from three points. It was, it was key plays, I think, just like the ball movement, the extra pass, the swing down the stretch, the three at the yep. end, yeah. right? It's like 15 points. Three right. at the beginning, too, that we talked about when he yes. just drained it from almost half court. It's funny, right? Because yeah. I talked about that last on last podcast with Beals, right? When you see Kyle Lowry in transition pull up Watch on out. that D3, yeah. Yeah. right? That's the sign when you know he's those 25, in. 26 footers. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Again, I said this after game one, and I know this is against the Celtics, and so it it it's, means more. I shouldn't be this excited. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't be this excited. But yet, here we are. Again, 113-101, the Raptors pull away at the very end of the game. And the big thing here, I think, right, is Serge Ibaka. Raptors, as, as our guy, Nick Nurse, mentioned at the start of the first game, right. he said the starting lineup's going to be fluid, meaning he's going to change it depending on the matchups. And the chess move here was he inserted Serge into the starting lineup, JV to the bench. Mm-hmm. Serge started alongside Pascal, Kawhi, Damn. Kyle Lowry, and Danny Green. Serge Ibaka after the much maligned Serge Ibaka. And I'll be honest, I'm the first one to get on Serge. 11 Serge Ibaka in the first game or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me. I mean, you know, the first quarter, let's get this this straight. First quarter, we were like, why is this guy in the game? You were nervous every time. We were like, yeah, every time the ball went into Serge, we were like, oh man, what's going to happen here? That's real. That's real. And then the ball just started dropping. He finished with 21 points, six boards, two assists. Yeah. I mean, he. he 10 of 14 from the field. All right. One of two, three points. He was hot. Uh, uh, he's Serge the was hot. Yeah. But right. like I said, like he wasn't just standing with standing behind a three point line trying to be that stretch four. Yeah. It was, you know, he was playing some defense. He was rebounding. He they, had his little but, jump hook going in the yeah, paint. Yeah. Right. When he was in the paint working, that's where you want surge, right? Offensive Definitely. rebounds. He had some big offensive big rebounds the in the, the fourth game. quarter. Yeah. It was a really good game for Serge. And yeah. you know, maybe we need to readjust our expectations, right? In the sense that you're, not, you're probably not going to get that every night from Surge, but no. when the matchup dictates it. If we could get it when the games matter like that, that's all that matters, really. But you know what I mean? Like, when the matchups dictate it, it'd yes. be, it it's a good look yeah. to know that, hey, Surge can match up against a smaller uh, point guard, or sorry, it, the smaller I, I, I feel that you're going to get the game like that from Ibaka, and then the 
if we could get the off game from Ibaka where JV then plays that game, mm-hmm. so every night we have either or, and yeah. then sometimes both, yeah. then that's perfect. I mean, I wasn't expecting that. I can't even no. lie. I've been no. I've been hard on Serge Ibaka and, you know, trying to give him a chance, and I was stressing during the game because I was saying, eventually, I think the lineup that the Raptors are really going to cook with is Pascal at the five, OG at the four, I mean, whatever, Who, if you want to say OG or Kawhi's at the four, whatever, yeah, yeah. and then Danny Green and Kyle. I keep thinking that that eventually will be the Raptors, like, cook them lineup where yeah, you're be switching the, everything. Your that'll, be our, that'll be our, uh, our version defensive. of the death lineup. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know what I'm saying? But, man, when Serge is playing like how he played tonight, yeah, whoo, this team is a problem. What did you make of JV coming off the bench? Because that's a different look for him, but also you mentioned it. JV with the bench is right. a different look, right? Yeah, I, to me, it's not a fit. It, it might again. It might. It's Boston, right? So, I mean, they got Baines, but Baines shoots threes a little bit, and he's got a little bit of athleticism. Mm-hmm. But JV doesn't fit with that lineup. Yeah, uh, you got guys pushing. The, it's, a, it's a fast lineup. They push the ball. Yeah. They're all young. Mm-hmm. You know, when Delon gets back, you have Delon. You got Van Fleet. It's a it's a push line. It's not a half court really set. Yeah, and you know throw the ball into the post lineup. So I don't know if if he, I mean, again, you know, Nick Nurse said, you know, he's going to go with the matchups. He's going to be doing matchups, right? Yeah. So, you know, if you're playing another team that has, you know, a big seven-foot center, it might work. But against a team like Boston, who's also, you know, a quick up-and-down running-gun team, it wasn't wasn't one of Jake's better games. It wasn't he looked lost out games. there. He sometimes. did. He I did. remember one play when 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 Kyrie came from the corner and you'd help him, help him. Yeah. And yeah. He just kind of put his fill like and, a wacky thing yeah. and, and Kyrie, the guy. Kyrie just came him. and ready yeah. does it. <laughs> Kyrie and just, niced him. And, and you could tell he was kind of lost out there too. Had a couple bad calls on him and he was laughing. And you know what? I'm surprised that we've gone this long without mentioning Kawhi Leonard. Because yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, I mean that, that's gonna be the rest of the show. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's get everybody else out the way first. Yo, Kawhi Leonard. I mean, obviously this whole season is about Kawhi Leonard to yeah. a certain extent, right? Yeah, pretty much. This night of Kawhi Leonard, and he there's no way that he's still at 100 percent yet. Yeah, that's scary. But, man, flashes that he was showing tonight: 31 points, 10 and 25 shooting, 10 rebounds. He was all over the place. His normal defense. But the way that this guy was getting buckets, yeah. Oh, like, what was your thoughts on Kawhi Q? I know you. Call, no, I know no, you to no, come no, to me no, first. No, no. So okay. hold on, hold on, Sorry. Mellimo. A little backstory here. <laughs> yeah. A little backstory <laughs> for for you and for you know those if you're watching and you're new to the ball on Bla- uh, ball on blast podcast. Q, myself, and my our other boy Foots, we had a very long and let's say heated debate about Kawhi Leonard coming to the Raptors. And it wasn't so much about that. It was more about DeMar going and how long Kawhi is going to be here. But yeah, one year I'll, like Kyle had on his hat. Right. right? I'll yeah. say Q was a little contentious about Kawhi Leonard coming to the Raptors. So I wasn't. No, no, no. no okay. So, so let, me, oh, yeah, no, well, let, me clear, let me clear it up. Let me clear it up. Let's just keep it to what happens. It's, it's not about Kawhi coming to Toronto. It's about how he came to Toronto and the circumstances okay. of it. Okay. But he's a beast. <laughs> man. It, it, I, yeah. You know, I remember hearing. Uh, someone said, like, the coaching staff, I remember hearing this on, on some radio show, that the coaching staff said that, you know, Kawhi's at about 75%. Well, if this is 75%, <laughs> you know, that's crazy, uh, you know right? it'll be crazy to see what, you know, when he gets to 100, whether that's December, January, February, it'll be it'll Whenever be interesting to see. Yeah. It, right? it felt, what I, what I felt from him, it felt like he just, he had his composure kept the, the whole game. Yeah. He didn't look out of place. Mm-hmm. He, he like I remember, like what I said to you guys with the Tim Duncan effect. It, it kind of like it, 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 I just I like what he's bringing here, and it's going to mentor all of the younger players, whether it is one year or not. Yeah. I just I, I just you could just tell he wasn't even breathing heavy, and that's not from a physical standpoint. That's just from yeah. his mental. Yeah. He, he's just he's very composed, whether it was Popovich, Duncan, or just himself or Rotate. Yeah. I like that. That Kawhi's coming here scoring 30-10. The three assists, whatever it is. I mean, that's and what he's that, doing it so calmly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what, but that's, that's what you want out of I your like. out of your big time players, right? It's a big. I mean, yes, it's game two of the season, but it's against the rivals, right? So you want your 
big time players to show up it's, it's for like big time games. He expected. Yeah. It's not like he hit the third and he's going crazy and fist mm -hmm. pumping calm and doing. And cool. You know what yeah. I mean? He's calm and cool, and it's like this is just this is my job. Yeah. The other thing was just how he did it. I'm pretty sure he started like three of eleven yeah, he in didn't the first half. The first, yeah. And then that third the whole quarter. Team didn't. That third quarter though, just, it's like Kawhi came out. Yeah. Meaning yeah. Business. He got 22 he went, points, I think, in the, the second half. I think. Yeah. He yeah. had 15 in the third in like seven minutes in the yeah. third quarter. <laughs> went five of seven, yeah. and he just couldn't be stopped matter who the celtics nope. tried to put on them because they brought a, they brought in whatever morris twins on that team because yeah. if you follow this podcast you know i can't tell the morris twins apart <laughs> it doesn't really matter <laughs> which one it is but he got the business jalen brown got some tatum got some yep. hayward hayward. You know, hayward he looked at hayward and like yo that's food bro yep. like Kawhi leonard just couldn't be stopped in episode one of the wrap it up and it was beals and i we went a list of who the Raptors have started at small forward since 2003. Just as a reminder to Raptor fans, like, listen, let's just enjoy this ride of yeah, watching yeah. Kawhi Leonard in a Raptors uniform. And one guy hit me up and he was like, wait, so the goal is not to sign Kawhi long I'm not saying that. Of course it is. But just ride. Tonight is one of those nights where, damn, we enjoy the ride of Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. Like, as you said, if this is only him, not at 100% yet, this team's going to the finals. I'm not. I'm not trying to spit hyperbole. I'm being dead serious. I'm keeping and, it. And a there's buck. also another aspect, the Kawhi aspect, is it's quietly, confidently driving, Kyle. Yeah, yeah. You, you see, we've seen that. Yeah. I know. I know. We've seen that all the time in the playoffs. But, but in game two, mm -hmm. he just looks zoned in. He does. He's locked in. And if you could have those two zoned in, and Danny Green's a really good compliment. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it just, at the end, man, they're all just trying to prove something. And, and, and I like that, that in game two, three, four, five, 11, 17, 35, whatever it is, <laughs> if they're going to be doing this type of stuff, because let's face it, the last couple of years, what did everybody used to say? It was just, what are the Raptors going to do in May in the exactly. playoffs? Exactly. And yeah, I know that's with that now, but it's also, it, it feels like the regular season means a lot more to us as the fans and them it's, it's than it gelling. did in years. Yeah. It's about gelling, right? And we looked up when was it was it third quarter Kawhi was at the line and their mvp chance yeah we all kind of <laughs> like, like what we all kind of looked at each other like uh yeah a little, a little too early a little too early it but. is early it's the second game of the yep. year but hey man i'm mad at raptor fans this is your yo you're on a one year trial run where you're trying to show up but i think that's but i think that's what it is i think everybody f feels like they have their own little personal piece to play yeah. <laughs> in, in, in in the we love Kawhi yeah. Kawhi resign everybody has their own yeah. little like if I don't shout MVP he might leave yeah so yeah, everybody yeah. feels like they have to shout louder than the next person like like their opinion really matters and I'm, yeah. I'm not mad at it uh I'm gonna give the first comment here from Twitter to my guy Andrew Webster who if you know we do the ball on blast podcast every Thursday night together but he says lots of positives to take from that W but are you at all concerned with how many second chance chant how many second chance opportunities the Celtics had tonight? 16 tonight, Cleveland and Cleveland had 14 in game one. Just a thought. Uh definitely. But I mean, you have to uh with with the lineup you have and you're you're going with the we can switch on anybody lineup, you're going with a smaller lineup, more versatile lineup. You're not gonna have. I mean, you don't have the seven foot JV in there, mm -hmm. yeah. Right, to guard in the basket. You you got, some, something's got to give. Yeah, exactly. yeah, something's yeah. got to give. Exactly. Right, and I think you know. Yes, they get second chance points, but the fact that the Celtics missed a lot of those shots, yeah, because of the defense that was played sure. on them, for sure. Right, I think that's a positive. Take well, a positive out of it. Uh, yeah, JV only played 14 minutes. He's one of our better rebounders, but yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know. The, by, by, by every time I saw it. it, it, it but Baca was grabbing the boards every. Yeah. How many boards did he get? Surge. Oh, Surge had six. six. But it seemed like a lot. It was a lot. It was crunch time. Crunch time. And it was yeah, in the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's one big possession where I think he got like back to back yes. offensive rebounds. Yes, yeah. right? yeah. And you're right. You're going to have to give something up. But I also think it's a league wide trend. Yeah. Right. Because as the whole entire league goes small and the whole entire league is more perimeter oriented in terms right. of you might have four guys on the perimeter, you're going to give up more. Re yeah. Re shooting yeah. more. Yeah. Definitely. Especially with the clock that we're talking about is going back to only 14. It feels like the offense, they're shooting a lot more than they did in years previous. So you're going to get those rebounds. Yeah, it was it was an interesting game for sure. Just looking at it from that standpoint, and they got key minutes off the bench, which 
as always, will be a key trend with this Toronto Raptors team because we know depth is super important. And again, they rolled out, what, 10 guys? Yeah. And you had Fred Van Fleet. He gave them key minutes off the bench again. Yeah. Freddie was Freddie. was Freddy. He's like a Kyle. Be. Yeah. Shooting percentage isn't where you want it to no. be, but I just love the way that he's in command of what's going on when he's on the floor. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but I think with Fred, I don't think it's going to be about the shooting percentage mm-hmm. because the offense, the, sec- the second unit offense runs through him. Yeah. Right? And on a night like tonight where CJ shot wasn't going down, uh, JV was coming off the bench, not too effective. Mm-hmm. Ananobi is more of a defensive guy. He he played well though. He, he, he played well. He played well, but he's not. He's, the heart. he's not. He's he's not a he's it's not a goal. Goal. He's not a go get the bucket guy. Yeah, right. What you're he's a he's a in the flow of the offense guy. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Norm Powell had play, he played some decent minutes. The numbers weren't okay. weren't there, yeah. but I think he. Well, we know why. Norm's you know, in. we already said. That. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we we just got to keep got to keep Norm's mom. Got to keep Norm's mom. Norm's mom happy, right? Norm's role is a little different. Yes, this year. Right. Right. Well, a little different this year. But yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting because Freddie and OG were really the guys off the bench. You mentioned CJ struggling, but Danny Green, again, proving to be a key yeah. cog, Hit four of seven threes. from three, yeah. big, massive threes in crunch yeah. time. And I just love the way that Danny Green, you know, he's not afraid. Yeah. Right? Like, he's going to get the ball, shoot it in rhythm. I mean, and he's, he's, been, he's been there and done that, right? Yeah. He's had exactly. championship he pedigree, San atmosphere. Antonio. He's like he's, the, junk, yeah. the new junkyard dog, kind of. There's one, like, every couple years that the, the Raptors always... I mean, like a fan favorite kind yeah. of guy? Yeah. He's not, like, I mean, the best guy well, on the yeah, team. He's not but, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it's just great to watch so far. And I know, again, game two, yeah. right? We can't we can't get too hype. I'm trying to I'm trying to no. calm but myself no, no. down. But I think, you know, I think just being a, a Toronto sports fan, mm-hmm. it's a good time. You know exactly. what I mean? Like I think I think everything's dare everything's say, hype right dare now. Dare I say what a time to be alive? What a time. <laughs> what a time. I don't know, man. This game was so crazy. It was a great game. And shout out to Nick Nurse because there's a lot for him to deal with. I know you're you're putting in the offense, cool. Getting these guys to buy into this, yeah. you know, different starting lineup each and every night, that's a difficult thing. Yeah. You have a very deep team as well. How are you gonna shuffle around the minutes? That's a difficult thing, right? One thing, I mean, again, it's early in the season, mm-hmm. right? But one thing I did like in this game, I felt in past years, and not the, you know, Casey won coach of the year, and I think he did an excellent job yeah, f- for the time he was here. Mm-hmm. But I always felt in those big games against Cleveland, Boston, Golden State, I always felt like he was reacting, right? Yeah. Keeping guys in too long. Oh, they went small? I got to go small, yeah. Yeah. right? Mm-hmm. I felt like... We dictated more of yeah. the rotation. It's like Casey right? had the last lineup change. Like in hockey, when you're yeah, home, you I get your yeah. first lineup right? change. I know, saying, right? yeah, never, yeah. I know exactly what you're right? saying. So like at the end of the game, mm-hmm. I don't think um, Brad Stevens would have wanted Rozier in the game. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have it up. But he had to yeah, because yeah, they yeah, put yeah, Van Fleet yeah. back in. Exactly. But we made the move. Did it wasn't us. Van Fleet back in? Remember when we said Van Fleet we did, the fourth, did. The yeah, Van Fleet did come back in, right? And who went out? OG? Yeah, it was OG. Van Fleet left for Danny Green. Okay, yeah. so he didn't. He right, small but I felt like, like, like he, just, like he was, like he was dictating. He, dictated he was him, yeah. dictating mm-hmm. what his rotation. He was gonna put put my guys out there and let Brad Stevens, yeah. kind of adjust. It's interesting too because I remember one of the things I brought up was I was, I was wondering about the line is at the start of the fourth quarter. Right, remember we right. we noticed that. Brad Stevens had three of his starters in. He had Kyrie in, he had Jalen Brown in, Jaylen Brown and, and Hayward. Hayward yep. And the Raptors had their full bench. Yeah. And that was when the Celtics kind of made a little bit of a push there yep. to get back into the That's game. That's when Hayward kind of went off for a couple of minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and you know what? As you mentioned, Nick Nurse stuck to his guns, stuck with his bench, stuck with his rotation. And mind you, it's still the early season. So these right. guys are working themselves into yeah. their game legs and all that. So See you get Kyrie well coming back in yeah. fresh. You get Kyle coming back in fresh. And look, that lead went from what, two or three? To jumped up at the end. Yeah. Yeah. It was a great look for, for this Toronto Raptors team. And just the way that the game went, too, because Boston, especially in the first half, they ended the first quarter on a 14 4 run. They yep. ended the halftime on a crazy run, but then Freddie and hits ben, that shot. That's what I said. The momentum went in. They went into halftime, not down on themselves. Not that they would have been, but they went in yeah. kind of like, okay. You know, we got this. We're only down three or four, whatever it was. Yeah. They're right there. And then again, right? Third quarter starts, Kawhi time. Yep. And man, this team, the other guy we should bring up that I think you kept talking about during the game was Pascal. Mm -hmm. 
he continues to look like he's about to have a breakout season. No? Yeah. Yeah. He, he he looks confident. He looks like, you know, when those lanes open up, he's going to take it. And yeah. he's not afraid to take it. He's not wondering whether he's going back to the bench. I think he, he's playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, I think what he's heard about his his, his escapades over the summer. Nurse mm-hmm. gave him that confidence. Do you think maybe Casey was a little bit more timid on him and he knows he's got the confidence from Nurse now and that's why he's giving it his it's all? It's interesting. It's interesting you bring that up because I remember one of the things that JV, who's more of a media guy, right? Like we see JV talk a lot yeah. more in the media. He'll he, spit some stupid stuff sometimes even though yeah. he shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> but he's alluded to the fact that with Nick Nurse's offense, even back last year, right? So obviously this year it's more so, but – he has a lot more freedom in decision making, right? Where right. they'll run sets where he gets the ball at the top of the key and he's making decisions on who he's passing it to. Yeah. And so exactly what you're saying. I don't know if Casey well, no. Casey definitely had a system where it was on Kyle. Yeah. Right? It was on Kyle. It was on DeMar. Those are the right. guys making the plays. And then obviously Freddie when he's in there. But this seems a lot more free flowing. And to further answer your question, I think, yeah, Nurse definitely gives him the confidence. Cause if you pay attention, right? You could just see by his hustle. But this was going to say, watch when when uh, Siakam gets an offensive rebound. All the other guys don't come for the ball. Like Kyle yeah. doesn't come to yeah. try to get yeah. the ball. Everybody they turns turn and goes, and goes yeah. down the court, and yeah. Siakam brings the ball. Yeah, to the floor. yeah, yeah. I That's that, definitely yeah. got to be something yeah. that the coach is saying. Oh no, no, no. We trust it's, it's you. It's okay yes. to do that. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Yeah. We trust and I think, you to bring. You know, ball. you hear it a lot of again about his escapades over the summer, uh, summer Maybe ball, and improved, yeah. right and. Getting compliments from other big time NBA players. Like, I'm sure you know, he's reading this stuff online. James, yeah, and James Harden. Predictions and right? yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Bleacher Report. Now that I know. James really Harden saying, saying watch out for, for Pascal yeah. Siakam this year and yeah. things like yeah. that. I think that also gives you a level of, of confidence, course. right? For sure. Definitely. Definitely. You you talked about him being what? Our Draymond. Yeah. Right? It's it's scary, man. And we're going to get the test. Let me bring up the Raptors' schedule right now because I know they play tough, Washington yeah. Yeah. and then they Washington play uh, Milwaukee, they play Minnesota. Mil- or, uh, no, it's Washington and then Charlotte, on Monday it's Charlotte. Charlotte, right? But if you look at their full schedule, the first, like, what, 10 games we were looking at when they put up the board during uh, – when they put up the board during the game there. So let's look at the, the run here they got, right? So you got Washington tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. Then on Monday you're going to Charlotte. Then you're playing Minnesota. You have Dallas. Then Milwaukee and Philly. Yeah. That's a solid run where yeah. really Dallas is the only gimme, yeah. if you're yeah. going to say a gimme, because yeah. I think Dallas is still probably a scrappy young team. You don't really know what to expect. Yeah. But that's a tough – we're going to know right away yeah. and then you're where looking, this Raptors is. And then you're looking at. down and you see then you got Phoenix and then you got L.A. So, I mean, it's coast. Yeah, let's hope that they, they yeah. don't drop off now and be like, okay, we proved the Boston game. We can relax for 3-4. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, hopefully they bring all, uh, all the ambition that they did. Well, Washington, Washington will be an interesting matchup. Um, do they play tonight, Washington? Are they on a back-to-back as well? No, no they played back-to-back back already. already. They played back-to-back already. Yeah, okay, so they, won, they don't know if uh, Dwight Howard's going to be back because he hasn't played yet, right? He's a bum injury, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dwight Howard. Oh, man. If there's – yeah, I don't even want to yeah. get into Dwight Howard. But this early run of the Toronto Raptors, it'll be really interesting to see as they continue to gel because that's the thing you're implementing two new starters you're implementing yep. a guy who only played what a handful of games last year in nine Twilight games nine as games. Your best player yep. your best player kyle lowry is still adjusting to all this and it's yep. it's early but it's working seamlessly so far and the celtics are the legit game the Cavs yep. game was like well it's a Cavs. yeah the celtics what do you what did you make of the celtics seeing them the team that's supposed to be the top up there with the Raptors, but top in the Eastern Conference. A lot of uh, people's picks to make the yeah. finals. Oh, well, most people's picks. What do yeah. you make of the Celtics? I, I honestly, uh, I thought Gordon Hayward looked well in a, in a point from coming off that injury. Mm-hmm. I didn't notice Kyrie at all. Yeah. Really. Besides that play that I told you where you yeah, said help yeah, yeah. Valanciunas. It wasn't an I don't impactful even know what, game what his staff, yeah. it, 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 it wasn't. Um, Horford like played Grady. You... He was, I think, what, an assist away from a triple-double. Mm-hmm. Um, Hayward played good. The Tatum didn't. I mean, Tatum was the star in the first game against Philly. It's at home. We get it. Mm-hmm. He was kind of missing. I, I mean, it's the defense game. was. It was. It's, the, the first half was kind of sloppy, and then the, the Raptors really just just 
whole second half. You could tell the Raptors game plan on D, right? They're, the help defense is there all yeah. the time, but even they're just their man to man, just straight on yeah. mano a mano defense is there. And yeah. if you do happen to get by someone, which doesn't happen that often, yeah. there's another dude waiting for you. Yeah. Like the Raptors defense is legit. Oh. You mentioned Kyrie, yeah. 21 points on 20 shots. Did that's he? not 20 shots. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, he, he, that's he, what you're saying. He, oh, wow. he, did, he did kind of. In, in the uh, again last episode too. I think in the, in the fourth quarter, he he, he kind of started taking got, yeah. shooting. He had a couple buckets. He had a couple. I felt buckets, like the first but... half he was trying to be point guard, distribute yeah, the ball, yeah. Kyrie. I just I didn't really notice. Him. He didn't really. Yeah, he but didn't. Maybe really... I was too much looking no, at Ibaka. That's no, I I agree yeah. with you though. Kyrie but I mean, if you're looking, it wasn't an impactful game. Oh, if you look, that, that's a, those I mean, stats if you're, if, yeah, yeah, if you're looking at the. Just like, looking wow. at the plus Pretty minus shots, there, though, but yeah. and everybody except Jalen Brown was double digit minus. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, uh, Danny Green was the most plus twenty five. Yeah. So our starters there. Are... It's true. You're totally right there because we talked. Kyrie Irving minus sixteen. The yeah. argument all day today at work was so funny. It was about because there's one guy who's trolling, but. It was about the Celtics being way deeper than the Raptors, right? And okay, the Raptors might have the best player in Kawhi, but then here, the smart, next best yeah. players are all on the Celtics, whatever. Yeah. You're right. The plus minus stats would kind of feel are a flawed stat. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's 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 deeper. How much you use your bench players? Yeah. So yeah, Kyrie, yeah, yeah. Kyrie so it's, a, it's an interesting stat, but like you're right. Minutes and yeah. Kyrie minus sixteen. Yeah. Tatum minus fourteen. Hayward minus eleven. Horford minus 10. And then you go to the Raptors starters and you're seeing Abaka plus yep. 16. Yep. <laughs> Kawhi plus 17. Lowry plus 18. And you mentioned Danny Green, Green at plus, plus 25. 25. Like the Raptors starters definitely outplayed yeah. the, the Celtics. And mind you, hey, Raps are at home doing what I you're think, supposed think... to do. But still, credit where credit's due. This is a big game. That's a yeah, statement. Of course. Game. Oh, yeah. uh, definitely. I think, you, I think, you know, before we get too ahead of ourselves, we also got to understand that, you know, the Celtics are going through a, a similar transition. Yes. Gordon Haywood played five yeah, minutes last year. Yeah, you're right. Kyrie exactly. only played half a season. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, the, so they they're still trying yeah, to work they went out from Tatum and Brown being the leaders yeah. to now Haywood right. and Rose Kyrie Rosier again. So going back to the bench. Right. So I think yeah. so I think yeah, they're still going. Right. They're yeah. still trying to find out their identity and their their rotations at work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, but but again, like I like I was saying, like this game matters not just for a statement and because it's you know, a rivalry game, but I think when the season, when the stats, when the season standings come down, you said it's, it's, right? it's in yeah. April, mm -hmm. it, there's only going to be a, a, you know, game, one or two games that are going to separate maybe yeah. first and first to third. Yeah. So these games will matter then. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Right. And the other thing too, is when you look at this, the Celtics and forget about the fact that forget about the Celtics for a second, right? This is big in terms of a Raptors fan base that, we talked about it. Most of them are on edge because you gave up the franchise guy, DeMar DeRozan. And there was so much talk about how is this going to work out? Yep. Is Kyle going to be okay? Is Kawhi going to be healthy? Does he want to play? All of these things. First year head coach. All of these things. And this is like a show me game early on yeah. at home. Crowds fired up on a Friday night, yep. eight o'clock start. So the building's packed. It's not yep. like people are, you didn't have to rush, right? Yep. Eight yep. o'clock yep. game. Cause yep. it's, Cause it's on the ESPN, on ESPN, ESPN, right? There's so many layers to how big of a game this was. And Raptors showed up and put in work. How refreshing is that for once? Cause I don't think we're used to that. Are we? Not with the playoff success that we have. Like I said, it reminded me of a playoff game. And I'm used to after the mm -hmm. playoff game just kind of talking about what we did wrong. You know, right? too, so, it's interesting you say that because I, I think back to remember last year when uh, the Raptors were on that run, they were first in the East, but then they had the Cavs games. Yeah. And I know it's the Cavs and it's LeBron, and it's whatever, but those were like big time show me games yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. like, okay, let's see where the Raptors really are at. Right. And yeah, they lost those games. Yeah. I thought this was super interesting. And I want to go back to something you guys were talking about earlier. You're talking about the Celtics. I've been harping on the fact the whole off season that everyone was just assuming the Celtics were going to be fine. When yeah. mentioned Hayward hasn't played right all last year. Yep. You have so many guys, uh, all Tatum's heard the whole off season is how good he is. Yeah. Right. You don't think Tatum is 
this last podcast. You don't think Tatum and Brown think they're better than Hayward? Yep. I can see them being right? the, like, the, Kawhi, yeah. uh, the, sorry, the, the Kyle and DeMar kind of on the team being like, well, well then why do they get, why they get all the time? Like, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, it, 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 you're right. It, it, I mean, and, and, and even to go further, you know, Rozier is a free agent at the end of the year. He <laughs> wants his money, so he wants his time, but he's yeah. playing behind Kyrie now. Yeah. So it, it, there is a... And not enough Mel's. There, there is, yeah. There is, a, there is... There could be a negative to all of this. Yes, you're on paper. You're, you're a deep team. You go, you know, a good nine, ten deep. You, you know, guys that are proven playoff performers and da da da. But I mean, this is the NBA, and the, the, there are egos involved, what I said right? Too, so remember, I asked you guys if this is a statement game. Mm-hmm. The reason I said that was because I think Boston is such a much better team at home. In yeah. the Boston Garden or TD Bank or whatever. They're, yeah, they're yeah, 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 yeah. And they all, I mean, they had us for, you know, till the end of the third, fourth, we kind of went away. But I, I think this is a statement game, but I want to see the Raptors do a uh, simulation, the, 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 the same kind of game they did today in Boston. Yeah. No, you're That's totally what right. I want to see. Then I'll know that they can take Boston in well, seven game series. Again, we, we kept talking about how, you know, the tests are early and often for this Toronto Raptors yeah. team, right? So you have the Celtics right away. And then now in Washington on the second night of a back to back is not a gimme game. Like oh, that's no, a, no, that's always, a tough game, yeah. right? Deal. Washington's a solid team. Oh, for sure. Obviously John Wall's one of the top guards in the league. So no rest for Kyle Lowry. You're going Kyrie to John Wall on back to back yeah. nights. Yeah. This is where, and plus it's a road game. Right, so that's now, why I want to see them on the road. Yeah, right. We talk about how your your uh, bench guys play better at home. Right, your stars will carry you on the road. How will Kawhi react on the second night of a back to back? Right, that's another thing. Yeah, he's not used true. to that, obviously. Right. Yeah, yeah. How many minutes will he get? He's he's played a lot of minutes so far I, early this season. And then what I said, it, it's because they won against Boston or two and zero. Are they going to kind of take this game off? Right. Yeah. Are they going to be like, yeah? It's, it's interesting to see. I, I mean, working out all the kinks for this Toronto Raptors team, it's crazy. I wonder what the matchup is as well tomorrow, like who ends up starting. I guess it depends on Dwight, if Dwight's yeah, playing. Dwight's there. Um... Right? Maybe it's a JV game. I don't know. It, it's the one part about JV that threw me off. I wrote it down too, was <laughs> JV checks in, Horford gets the ball. He like up faked and blew by him <laughs> yeah, for a yeah, dunk. Yeah. And I was like, oh, <laughs> Right man. away. It's like JV. I mean, it, it's going to be an interesting ride. And I want to shout out Nick Nurse again, because I think for him to get these guys to buy in, and it's super early, but to, for him to get these guys to buy into this, mm-hmm. that's big. How's Serge going to bounce back? Is Serge going to be okay if he goes back to the bench tomorrow night, right? A lot of a lot of things going on with the Raptors, but I want to ask you, Mike, who was your like X factor? We know Kawhi was Kawhi, but... Who was your X factor in terms of yeah. someone you weren't expecting it from, but they brought it tonight? Yeah, it was a Baca. Yeah, and, and like what what I said earlier when we talked about this, when I think about an X factor, I think about somebody that you don't think might play a game that they did. Yeah. You kind of expected that from Kawhi, and he was quietly, confidently yeah. did that. Yeah, but a Baca, especially in the fourth quarter, he played he played outstanding. And, yeah, and especially from that first game, I, that he to me he was definitely the X factor. That's a dope bounce back from Surge, right? Yeah. You go back to what he did in his first game, and, and he kept JV atrocious. on the bench. I mean, uh, if he wasn't playing that good, we might have had JV out there. Yeah, mismatch, and who knows what the game would have been, right? So he definitely was my X factor. Yeah, to go from shooting two of ten to ten of fourteen. Yeah, that's big. Q, if I was going to ask you who who your X factor uh, was, I think it had to be Ibaka. Yeah. There's no one else really. Yeah, he he played. That's one of the better games I've seen from him yeah. <laughs> in a true. Raptors Period. uniform. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? That's not even a guess. A he was yeah. hitting. I mean, all he the had. Shots. I mean, like, I mean, he's had a couple games maybe like against whatever, you know yeah. lower you know the Knicks or whatever. But <laughs> like in a big game, yeah. You know, with with ESPN cameras in yeah. in his face, and mm-hmm. you know that. Mm-hmm. that I was impressed with what I said. And seen. we know that stuff matters to these guys, right? Yeah, like, yeah, their definitely. prime time on ESPN, like, that stuff matters. Like, I don't know if the Spurs were playing tonight, but I bet that there's a DeRozan's guy, watching. DeMar DeRozan, sitting at home on his couch Do you watching. Think he's doing a handshake with Kyle, too. And then, right? <laughs> what it, so, did let Cole, me get you guys' thoughts on this. Today? Did anybody I don't see know. that? I don't I know. I haven't seen the you video only, yet. You only find that after. Yeah. But, but I want to get you guys' take on that. Like, are you worried about Kyle at all when you see things like that? Or it's just Not like, when he's what? playing like this. <laughs> no? Q, no. you? Um, 
for people that might not know what we're talking about, there is video <laughs> emerged from game one of, well, if you go back and just look through the, the tapes of yeah. the Kyle and Damar bromance, they have a ritual where they would do a little handshake outside the locker room yeah. before every game, before they go out onto the court. So video emerged from game one on Wednesday against the Cavs where Kyle's doing the handshake with nobody. No one. So people took yeah. that as he's still doing the handshake with Demar before he went out on the Do court. Do you think Kyle texted and be like, "Check the video after," <laughs> <laughs> and then Demar's at home, he'd be like, "Oh man." You know, Does I think that, uh, that stuff where you. Can? I think I think like like anything else mm -hmm. in sports, mm -hmm. when when you're winning, yeah, nothing nothing fine. nothing else matters. Yeah, you know when this team actually faces some adversity. Mm -hmm. Then it's, that'll be interesting to see his reaction then, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, the one thing about Kyle though is I do think he, you know he he does have a chip on his shoulder, mm -hmm. and he's one of those guys that needs that to perform, I, I believe. Yeah. So I think not just Demar being gone and you know everything else that went along with that, and him not talking to the media and whatever. This is the first time we've entered the season mm -hmm. where. He's he's kind of like the second fiddle, right? He's yeah. it's not it's, it's not a yeah, right because yeah, it, so. it was it was always what are Kyle and Demar gonna do? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. After when, the post right? Some people think Kyle was yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyle. Kyle's the heart of the team. I see what you're saying. Kyle's our best player, or Demar's our best player, yeah, and Kyle's yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyle's right. But it was always the two yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah. Right now it's Kawhi's team. Yes. Right. Well, this Kawhi's team. weren't you throwing? A, I was kind of throwing out that Kawhi's the last one in the player intros. I was kind of thrown off by that. Yeah. I, I expected that. Yeah? Yeah, in a sense, because it was just the hype. Do, the sales was, pitch, you mean? Was he the last one in, in you know what today? I mean? like, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, still again and, today. Yeah, again today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's a sales pitch type of thing. They get the crowd. <laughs> like, like you you're the I mean? man. Yeah. Like the last person. Yeah. Kawhi. Whatever. Yeah. Who, who's the guy's name that you're saying? <laughs> oh, no. Mar Mark Strong. Shout yeah. out to Mark Strong. That's my guy. I love Mark Strong. He does the intro for the starters. The starters. Uh, okay. Herbie does Herbie. everything. Herbie Coon, right? Herbie, That's yeah, his name? He does, he does, he does the intros for uh, everyone else. Yeah, and, like yeah. The stuff during the game. Uh, but, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of with you, Mike, in the sense that, and I've said this from – Right when the trade happened and people were asking about salty Kyle Lowry, I do not care what Kyle Lowry says to the media as long as he balls. Plays like that. Yeah. yeah. If he balls, do whatever you want. You could yeah. be the biggest jerk think... in the world to the media, to whoever. As long as you ball, I don't care what and you I do. think this makes it even better from the ball even harder because it's like he like, like he said, like you said, he has something to prove. Yeah. He's not used to being in the second field. He's not used to hearing MVP chance for you yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, I think this is just gonna fuel his fire even more. Also, too, I remember after game one, a reporter asked Kyle Lowry. It was pretty funny, and I'm, I'm going to paraphrase the question, but the question was something to the effect of, how did it feel to get out there with Kawhi and you guys get a chance to like build some chemistry after game one? And Kyle just like looked at the guy, and he's like, come on, man, it's game one. <laughs> and the guy like tried to like re – he's like, no, but you know, and he's like, come on, bro, it's, it's game one. Yeah. right? And, and he's right. Does he have to be? Does he have to respond like that? No. no. But again, he's right, yeah. and I don't care. Ball out. Yeah. <laughs> Do whatever you want, Kyle Lowry. I'm play, here for you. Like this. Wear your one year hat because yeah. hey, if this one year, what's 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 one of my my favorite Drake lines? I'm not here for a good. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm yo. Let's go. <laughs> this is the year. Like everyone said, can so complain one all year. they want. It's perfect. Complain all you want. If this year. is if we're talking about a deep playoff run. Oof. If this is a glimpse into what a Celtics Raptors playoff series would yeah. look like, yeah, that would be good. But it'll would finally you guys be... agree we would need the home court advantage. I mean, we haven't gone in the world like, and I keep saying I want yeah. to see them in Boston, mm -hmm. but yeah, that would scare till, uh... me to have to play four of seven. Over yeah, there. I know what you're November, saying. And their home it's a crowd, hostile crowd. November 16th, first game in Boston. Their home crowd is a again the first tough. first game of a of, like, of it's a city of champions, like we were talking about before, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They just they they they're very educated, they're smart, and that's what I was talking about the education. I love that we're saying MVP. It just seems silly to call. <laughs> you know what I mean? Boston wouldn't do that if Kawhi had come there, like right? Like, they're very educated. They're they're, they're, they're just saying. a winning city, and it, yeah, we got to go in there and take one there. So that's when I'll really see how how they are yeah this raptors team it's interesting the one the one thing i'll say though is Kawhi's robotic nature and I'm, i don't mean that as a diss at all yeah 
I think like that guy doesn't get he doesn't get swayed by like playing on the road or playing oh, on no. whatever. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. I feel like he's just gonna show up. It's, it's like about health. Yeah, army. just another like, gym, like right? The Spurs yeah. of the yeah. army. Like he, he's he's already groomed into that, right? Oh man. Plus the way he is. Yeah. This yeah. is like I said. He's, but, this is but, 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 but this is this is also what I was saying when I was, I was trying to defend Kyle and Demar a little bit. Yeah. About their playoff uh, failures. Failures is when they came into the league, there was nobody. There was no Tim Duncan to mentor them. To mentor That's them, true. and do like, true. like this is how you go about a playoff game. Yeah. Well, you're right. Right. They kinda, they, pop. right? Like, they kind of, they kind of learned. Or, you're right. About you're that. right. They kind of learned. Also, they're here and they're the men, right? Right. And like, I, I always think that, especially for them, because not because they were the first ones to. Well, they're the first ones to have like major success yeah. in Toronto, right? But I think there's something to be said when you're Demar Derozan. You don't really know what it's like, but then now the city embraces you. And I feel like a, a big part of Kyle and DeMar was kind of looking at the Raptors in terms of, well, you guys are nothing mm -hmm. without us, yeah. right? Like we made you a relevant franchise. You know what I mean? Like right. the Raptors franchise, ain't nobody really checking for the Raptors franchise as an organization. I feel like that was kind of their mentality, which to me leads into why Masai went out and got Kawhi. Yeah. Right. Because I feel like that added more of a, a statement or a legitimacy that yo i was watching espn today like when i'm a, during the day when we're at work we have espn up right on all their shows they had at least two or three segments talking about the raptors mm -hmm. right like one was about the damar and kyle handshake one was about uh Kawhi leonard's first game one was about just them playing the celtics but all these espn shows and i think getting Kawhi leonard puts you up a notch right like as much as we talked about last year the raptors were good but the ESPN talk was always about, are they for real? Are they Chokers. for real? And, and they didn't really buy in. Right. Well, con con like, it's, yeah. it's like right everything else, so. right? Controversy sells. So yeah. everybody's, I mean, Kawhi, everybody's wondering where Kawhi's going to end up. Yeah. Right, everybody wants to know because he's kind of kind of a mystery. They only played mm -hmm. nine games. Is he going to be the same player coming back? Yeah. So it puts an extra spotlight on exactly, yeah. on him, which in turn puts it on the Raptors. And he yeah. he, he kind of, uh, you know what I mean? Like he 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 broke up with Pop. It's like yeah. it's like Brady I, bringing I, up a Belichick. And nobody, yeah, you know, nobody you know, does that, that, right? Nobody does so, that. Yeah, nobody puts next, like, like wow, nobody leaves San Antonio. Like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 you left San Antonio. You left. Pops taking DeRozan and Pirtle and being like, I can groom them. They're good. And you're going to the Canada, Toronto. Like, yeah, it's 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 exactly what ESPN wants, right? Yeah. If they, it's as if they needed it. But speaking of though, did you guys catch at least the highlights of Demar's first game in San Antonio? I see, I see, yeah, I seen a, I seen a couple highlights. Yeah. He looked all right, no? Yeah. yeah. Well, he's gonna be he's gonna love it thereafter when you're with that system. Yeah. It's gonna groom his game so much. You know what? Like, it it. it it's good. It's, it's too bad that uh, it's because he's already in kind of in a little at his prime, past his prime, where he's finally he's got the five years there. He'll be 33, 34. I see. If he was um, o, OG's age right now mm -hmm. and got that trade, like if OG had a went there and then hit free agency after 28 mm -hmm. with five, four or five years mentor in, in this with, with Pop. Man, he'd be just as good as Kawhi, right? I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Like Demar's kind of like he's just a little bit is. too late. He right? is what he is, but at the same time, like he's going to put him in a position. To yeah. Succeed. yeah. But when he succeeds and he, he learns all that, like Kawhi did, I think he's just going to be a little bit past his prime to get that payday, or or he already got it. But you know what I mean to to mm -hmm. be one of those players, right? Yeah. No, I totally got you, Q. But I think because he he did kind of add to his game, he he was still he was still developing. Yeah. If he's, if he's oh, safe. every year he improved. like I don't like I don't think he's gonna maybe not get better offensively, but yeah. if he added maybe that defensive intensity and just yeah. professionalism, yeah. I guess consistency yeah. on the court type, you know, I think there is levels. There's how old levels. Is he? Well, how old is Demar? Twenty eight. Twenty eight, I believe, somewhere or somewhere around it. But I think, like I said, I think there are still levels that he can that he can. No, I get think to. he's gonna thrive there. Really, I I think most people do in that system. Uh, a comment here from uh, on Twitter from, I guess, a Nick Nurse scrum that just broke out. And I'm going to read here from uh, Twitter. Nick Nurse was asked about the MVP chance for Kawhi. <laughs> Joked that it happens in every arena for whoever the home crowd likes and remembers when Bismack Biombo got them here a few years back. <laughs> MVP Bismack. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Bismack Biombo. But again, but again, but, but, your point, you're, right? you're right. But again, that, uh, that shows the. What was it? Does it ask who asked that? Inexperience? Who asked the question? That, who asked the question? No. That had to be an American. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Does it say who oh, asked the question? Say, oh. no, no. 
But again, I, I think that's that's yeah. still the the inexperience, the inexperience of, of, the of, of, the, of the crowd. Of course, that's right? what I know. Because yeah, yes, it happens in every arena, yeah. but it's LeBron, it's yeah. KD, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's Col- Anthony Davis, it's Kobe, it's yeah, Mike. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not you know. Yeah. John Paxton never got no MVP <laughs> John chance, Eagles. right? John Ingles, you know, MVP chance. Yo, mind you, if you go back to that that uh, first conference final series against the Cavs, when tomorrow. the Raps came back, when the Raps came back and yep. won the two games at home, yeah. Yo, Bismack was balling. Of course. Oh, oh, oh definitely. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, definitely. I'm gassing right now. Oh, definitely. I'm gassing, <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> I'm gassing right now. No, but again, big time statement win for the Toronto Raptors and 113-101 victory over the Boston Celtics. Again, Kawhi Leonard, high man with 31 points on 10 to 25 shooting. Again, 10 rebounds, another double-double for Kawhi, but... The X Factor really is Serge Ibaka. Serge Ibaka balled out of control tonight. Huge win for the Raptors. Statement game. National TV on ESPN. And against the, I don't want to say rival, but the other team that's projected to be battling for top spot in the East. So in closing, guys, I just want to ask you just for your your final thoughts on the game overall. I guess your biggest takeaway from game two of the Toronto Raptors season. Q, I'll start with you. Uh. Kawhi's a beast. He, he's a he's one strong dude. Like I, you know he's good, mm-hmm. but just seeing him kind of just manhandle Gordon Hayward operate. the way he did and just get to the lane at with ease mm-hmm. was, was something to see. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, Mike. Danny Green was a throw-in. <laughs> And that was a great throw-in. Yo, yeah. we talked about that from right when the trade yeah, happened. Plus, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that was it, right? yes, we did. yes, we did. Yeah. It, 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 Kawhi, that, that was amazing. That was the throw-in. Mm-hmm. I'll take that every day. Yeah. He's he's going to be a big, a big part of our team. I mean, the only thing we didn't say is because, remember, this is San Antonio, right? Mm-hmm. This is San Antonio. So don't be surprised if with that 29th pick in the NBA draft, they, San Antonio, San Antonio finds a gem. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, we're, and we look back at that trade like, oh, now wow. it's DeMar Pertle and this and guy. this guy, yeah. <laughs> just, just putting that out there, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Sorry, I just came across that block again that Danny Green and oh, both of them. Pinned up against again, the like I said. Oh, he's, man. He's it's crazy good, man. because yeah. it's just on both ends. And, you know, we talked earlier, my biggest takeaway from this game – we were talking about, I think you mentioned it, Mike, that the slug, it was sluggish game in the first the half. First half yeah. And even they talked about it a bit on the broadcast, it was more the Celtics pace, right? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. The Raptors yeah. want to they, run up and down. And then off the quarter. Yeah. Five, yeah. six, it seven was, It was run. more to the Celtics pace. It was lower scoring game, you know, and the Raptors were gutting it out to stay game. Yeah. And then second half, man, it, it almost tells me that they, they can play both ways. Whatever style you want to play, the Toronto Raptors can do that. And but that was. Right, is the versatility that's what nurse was saying, though. Exactly, whether it's half court, whether it's running gun, mm-hmm. we have the bodies to do that. Yeah, yeah, they they definitely do. And, and they're the just defense, gonna grow. Man. I think OG and Siakam are just gonna get better. Yeah, and that's a scary thing, too. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a ball nerd, so as much as I love like offense and dunks and whatever yeah. threes, whatever people also like the obvious things that people yeah. like. I love watching like just the fact that Boston struggled so much in the half court to score because yeah. they couldn't get by anybody. And that's really going to be the thing that defense travels, right? Defense mm-hmm. will, will travel with you to the playoffs. Like these things matter. And so watching what this team can do one through 10, right? And yeah. Delon, who's yeah. going to be a big part of your bench still isn't playing it. Mm-hmm. Again, I shouldn't be this excited. But there's a lot of minutes to go. <laughs> Like like it's when always, Delon comes back, he takes Norm's yeah. minutes. Use well Norm's he minutes. Can. Norm's, can. Norm's important. Norm's man. Man. <laughs> put Norm in <laughs> there. You can't. Everybody's got to do their part. Right? Those, those he might take that, JV's minutes. Those listening that don't know what we're talking about, there's a story during the off season about how Norman Powell is from San Diego, which yeah. Kawhi is also from the San Diego area, and Norman Powell's mom is friends with Kawhi's mom? Is that the yeah, story? They... Powell's mom loves Toronto. Yes. Yeah. And, and they said know. that yeah. she will do everything she can yeah. to convince Kawhi's mom, who's a big, like, important factor in his life, obviously. how good Toronto is yeah. to try to stay. Yes. So obviously the stock of Norman Powell went up. Just went up. Yeah. He's a very, <laughs> he's he's a very important part. Yeah. So very important part. Is Norman Powell our... Uh, 
version of KCP on the Lakers. Definitely. Yeah. Right? Gotta be. Right? The Lakers, gotta be. The Lakers yeah. gave KCP some, some, some money, yeah. like two big contracts, yeah. and now he's still getting burns over Josh Hart somehow. Yeah. But don't forget. Because so LeBron's don't still for, there. Don't forget, whether it's LeBron or Maverick Carter, they get four or five, whatever the percentage is, of KCP's <laughs> contract, right? So that's extra money. That's does everybody think, oh, LeBron took a discount. No, he's getting his money on the, on the back end. Getting his money on the back end. Now, oh, and now, and now Anthony Davis... Signed with with Maverick Carter. Oh yeah, it's like the lesson here again is always secure the bag, secure right? Secure the bag. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's awesome, dudes. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want people to hit you up on social, you got anything to promote? Let the people know, Bellamo. Oh, uh, you could hit me up at Mike Bello four one six Instagram. Nothing really to promote right now. Soon though. I will. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. Working on soon. some business. We're talking about working on it. something soon. You know what's crazy? Sorry, Q. I don't mean. I don't no, mean no, to interrupt. No, no. You know what's crazy? So I did the first episode with Beals, and now you're here, and you know we can't announce things yet. Yeah. But Beals also had something that was massive that he told me like before we started filming. Bit. That was so. I'm energized by my people's coming yes. together and yes. hearing big things coming. Yes. Right. Like that. That I love that. Bless up. Positive energy. I love it. Q, we know you're Mr. DDS. Yes, DDS. So DDScaps.com uh, on all social media platforms at, at DDS Caps. Mm-hmm. Um, we still got all the hats going, the five-star generals, the dope man hats. The it's hoodie season, too. Hoodie so. season. We got the hoodies. Make sure your <laughs> these, girlfriend these are don't sa- steal it. These are, sa- <laughs> these are samples. You like it. Up. Mm-hmm. We'll put them into production. Um, I got to hit you up for some hoodies, actually, because... My hoodie rotation is uh, <laughs> yeah. I gotta keep well, my hoodie uh, rotation up, so I gotta keep going. For sure. You know, we're out, but you know, we got some things in the works. Some okay. some new styles, some new designs. Okay. Some new apparels. Um, yeah, just keep keep keep. You know, check us out for the hats. Got some sales going on, mm-hmm. um, and just keep checking in every so often. I'll definitely will when we do release our new stuff. I'll we'll be here to promote it. Dope. So appreciate it a lot. And uh, of course, I am Sheldon Alexander. You can find me on Twitter where you're probably, I mean, if this the podcast is, you can find me at Shell Alexander on Twitter, at Sheldon Alexander on Instagram. Tell the people on the YouTube page that are watching the videos and enjoying all the content and interacting with a bunch of people on the Facebook Raptors group, enjoying all of that. I always try to get back to people that ask questions that want to respond and talk ball because this is why we do this right Mm -hmm. it's for the people we're trying to just have a space where right after games we can talk basketball open freely not trying to be serious not trying to break down stats or do anything it's fun right fun guys (laughs) (laughs) that's a wrap i see what you did game two there's many more of that game two we got more coming up and again we'll be back for game three there'll be a full rotation of my friends i don't know who's going to join me actually i do know who's joining me tomorrow but as i said i'm never going to say who it is ahead of time it's always going to be a surprise and that's the fun of it drop in you got raptors leafs semi there's a job. lot going on. Yeah, I got to have the the picture in picture going up uh, yeah. tomorrow for sure. Raps and Leafs going on. But as always, as I close out all these things, because it's the realest of realest talks, I used to pray for times like this to rhyme like this. This is the Wrap It Up podcast, part of the Ball on Blast podcast. As always, unpolished and unapologetic. Until next time, see ya. Usually someone says peace, but I know. It's weird because it's, I'm with different people all the time. Right? <laughs> so normally it's Webby. Guy. You know, what? I, need, I need to have Webby on the soundboard going peace, peace. or something like that, right? Boom, blast.